Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Kaufman, a retired family doctor and a CLL patient myself. Also the Executive Vice President and Chief Medical Officer of the Nonprofit CLL Society. I'm here at the first day of ASH in a busy, noisy San Diego. Dr. Lamana. Hi, I'm Nicole Lamana, Professor of Medicine and Director of CLL at Columbia University Medical Center in New York. Dr. Lamana, I had the great privilege to be on a panel with you and other doctors about how to manage CLL. And you had the exciting area to talk about the therapies that aren't there yet. You know, the novel therapies, the exciting stuff. And we're gonna hear some new stuff at ASH. What's got you excited and could you put that in kind of a patient-friendly way about what's coming? Yeah, well the pleasure is all mine, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, I think what's exciting, of course, is that you know p patients with CLL are living much longer, thankfully to great therapies that we currently have had, covalent BTK inhibitors, venetoclax or BCL2 inhibitors. But we now that patients are living longer, we still need more therapies. These aren't curative therapies. So we're always looking forward to newer therapies, newer options, obviously potentially curative options for the disease or pot potentially better uh, 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 drugs that have better mechanisms of actions, maybe less toxicities for our patients. So at this uh, ASH meeting, we're highlighting several new uh, novel agents um, that are available in clinical trial currently, as you said, they're not yet available for patients in practice, but that are being explored. And some of the new exciting ones include a different way to target BTK. So we have BTK degraders that are being evaluated and there are presentations at this meeting that are oral uh, and on clinical development. Yeah, sure. so that's a degrader, just explain just... Yeah, in so a, a degrader, so you know, when we think about um, uh, BTK inhibitors, they bind either reversibly or irreversibly to BTK target directly. A BTK degrader is a different molecule that tries to uh, induce degradation of the BTK complex, and it goes through degradation in a different way. So it breaks up uh, and erodes BTK different than binding it as an inhibitor. And so there are several that are currently it in actually destroys the it molecule, destroys chews the it up, yeah. yes, in a different way. Yeah. Then, so plainly speaking, yes, uh, yeah. then binding it, uh, such as the current agents that we have currently available. And what else has you excited? Uh, there are other agents that are very exciting. We have what they call bispecific monoclonal antibodies. We currently have antibodies that target a protein on the CLL cells called CD20, and these are drugs like rituximab and obinutuzumab. There are bispecific monoclonal antibodies that bind a, a protein on your T cells called CD3, and then also bind on the protein CD20, so brings your T cell in proximity to the B cells to enhance killing that way. And so there are several that that are being evaluated for CLL patients that are currently being presented uh, at this meeting as well. Any final thoughts on the novel or exciting therapies that yeah, you want to I mean, share with patients? I think what, what is important to note is that because there are newer drugs being looked at all the time, this is a, it gives hope for our patients with CLL that if you've had current standard cares of treatment, there are newer options that are coming around uh, and that these are very exciting, Have look like they have a good efficacy and hopefully not so much toxicity, but it provides patients to have newer hopes for therapy in the future for their disease. Well, you've heard me say in the patients have heard me say there's never a good time to have CLL, but there's never been a better time, except maybe tomorrow, because there's Agreed. all these new fabulous therapies coming. Thanks so much for your research and your care for patients. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you.